abortion. My name is JT, by the way. I think this whole issue with abortion, I think in the United States, because this is where the issue is mostly taking place, where the debate about abortion is taking place, I feel that 70% of the population of the United States really don't care about it that much. I think most of you as you are watching this video, I think abortion isn't really playing a relevant, abortion laws against abortion aren't really playing a relevant issue in your life. But for those of you who are, this is my opinion. If you're a mother or you're about to be a mother or you just got pregnant and you're in a position right now where you feel like as a mother you cannot support that child, if you're in a position where you cannot give him the financial well-being, if you cannot give him what he needs to exist in life or what he needs to be raised up and be a healthy adult who can have opportunity in this world, then get an abortion. That's how I feel. Get an abortion. If you feel like you can if you feel like you're going to bring a child into this life who can't provide for himself, who you can't provide for, then get an abortion. I feel like there's nothing wrong with that. I had an issue like that with my little brother. He got a girl pregnant and the girl wanted to get an abortion. He didn't want to get an abortion. I told him, no, you should get an abortion because you should let her get an abortion because I feel like if she has a daughter, if she has that daughter right now, she's not going to be able to provide for herself. If she has a daughter right now, she's not going to be able to support her. If you guys, you guys aren't even close together like that. You guys only been dating for five months. Now she's pregnant. You guys are probably going to break her because you already tell me that you're arguing with her every day. So now that baby, you're not going to be able to pay child support for when she takes you to court out of bitterness against you because she feels like you being a deadbeat dad because I already know what type of person you are. I think, I think we got to stop trying to put, push our morality on what we think a person should do in those situations. Just because you feel a certain way doesn't mean that other person has to do that. And I don't like how they try to mix up and say that, like, um, they try to mix abortion with a religious issue and say it's a religious morality issue. In my opinion, I'll be real with you. I've read the Bible. I've never read if it, abortion existed in the Bible. And if it did, apparently God didn't take the time to talk about it or give us a heads up about, hey, when this is invented, y'all can't do that. So I don't know how that's a religious issue. As far as a morality issue, if it doesn't affect, if it doesn't apply to you, you shouldn't be making the laws against it. If it doesn't apply to you and you're not that person who's sitting, who's, if you're not that person who has to go to the abortion center, who has to make the decision what's the best decision for her and the child that she might bring into the world I'll be able to provide for, then that's not your decision to make about what she can do with her body. Once again, my name is JT. I want you guys to give me your opinions. All everybody, I want you to share this with your friends. Push that link, push that subscribe button, push that share button. Is there a share button on YouTube? I don't think so. But once again, pleasure to meet you guys. Name again. God bless you again. Goodbye.